we're going to look at lines and just the basic concept of the equation of a line. Okay, we usually try to write the line in what we call y-intercept form, which is in the form y equals mx plus b, where x and y stay variables. So you're not going to plug in for those when you define this line's equation because they are different values depending on where you are in the line. You are going to define your m, which stands for slope. Now I help students remember that by saying m is for mountains and mountains have slope. So that's a little reminder that m is equal to the slope. And then b. b is our y-intercept. And I always say you begin with b. Okay, but y is the y inter or b is the y intercept. So here is an equation or a line graph. And the other thing you no have to notice about a linear equation is x is always to the first power. We don't write it. We assume that there's a little one here, but anytime x is to the first power, we know we have a linear equation. Okay, so and that's that's if y is just to the first power also. Okay, so here's our line, and let's look at our m and our b. Now, a few minutes, or there's another video on slope, and you can go back and watch that. But we're going to count our slope by counting our rise over our run. And this one has a 3 over 3 slope, rise 3, run 3. So that means we have a slope of 3 over 3 or 1. Okay, so for m, I'm going to plug in the value. 1x. And again, I'm going to leave my variable x in there. Then I'm going to plug in the value of the y-intercept. Well, what you do is go to the y-axis, the long axis, and look and see where does that line cross. Well, the line crosses right here at this value. And since it's above the origin, 1, 2, 3, that's a positive 3. So b is equal to positive 3. So the equation is going to be 1x plus 3 is equal to y. And that's the equation for that line. That one's a little bit tight, so let's, let me erase and do one more example. Okay, so here is our Cartesian coordinate plane. And we'll put a value this time down here and up here and draw our line. Okay, take a second and see if you can figure out your slope. Okay, I'm going to write what I call the skeleton equation, y equals mx plus b. I'm going to underline what I need to replace. I need to replace m and I need to replace b. So let's count our slope. Our slope is going to go up two units, right, up two, and then I'm even with the other point, and then I go over one, two, three, over 3, so my slope is 2 over 3 or 2 thirds x. Okay, now my intercept. Where does this line cross the y axis? Well, it crosses right here at 2. So that means my y intercept or b is 2, but this time it is not a positive 2, it's below the origin, so it is a negative 2. So my final equation would be y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. There you go. And that's the basics of a linear equation. Now, here's a quick little overview. You've got the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, and that's rise over run. b is your y-intercept. That's where it crosses the y-axis. And then you keep your x and the y as variables. So here's your skeleton equation. You're going to plug in here your m for slope and here your b for your y-intercept. So looking at this example, you go up 2 over 1. So the slope is 2 over 1 or just 2 and your y-intercept is a positive 2. So that's how you would define that line.